Lisa T stands for the Lightweight Integrated Solar Array and Antenna. It's a super compact, stowable, thin film solar array that when fully deployed in space, offers both a power generation and communication capability for small spacecraft. Lisa T provides significantly more electrical power generation per unit mass and per unit volume to enable higher capability earth orbiting small spacecraft, as well as for small spacecraft to travel deeper into space than currently possible. Lisa T was developed at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and is a flight project with the Pathfinder Technology Demonstration Program, which is managed out of the Ames Research Center in Moffett Field, California. Several commercial partners played a key role in developing Lisa T, including Nexolve Holding, Turan Orbital, Ascent Solar, and Microlink devices. The importance of the Lisa T technology cannot be understated. Small spacecraft are becoming increasingly important to NASA's deep space science and exploration goals. The challenge we often see with small spacecraft is they tend to have very little mass and volume to spare. If we want to do more with these missions and send smaller spacecraft further into space, we need to provide them with access to more power without requiring a large amount of mass and volume. But how do you do that when space and mass is at a premium? Lisa T meets this challenge with its thin film solar array, which offers 300% more power per mass and volume than current state-of-the-art thick film solar arrays. The Pathfinder Technology Demonstration Mission Number 4, Lisa T's Mission Designator, will prove out Lisa T's ability to deploy, generate power, and communicate with Earth. Subsequently, the mission will monitor Lisa T's health over several months of operation to validate in space the survivability and performance of Lisa T over time. This will buy down risk for future missions that may fly with the Lisa T technology. Lisa T will be a critical demonstration of a core technology that can be scaled and enable a host of new types of future NASA missions. After the small spacecraft is delivered to orbit, the mission will begin with a period of commissioning, which means the spacecraft carrying the Lisa T payload will turn itself on, establish communications with Earth, and perform a health check to ensure all of its systems are working properly. Following this initial period, the spacecraft prepares Lisa T for deployment and begins by firing the first burn mechanism to cut tie-down cords and release the central booms. These booms passively deploy via stored kinetic energy. With this process, the solar arrays are pushed away from Lisa T's main structure, giving it room to expand. A second burn mechanism is then activated to release each of the four solar panels, which are tightly folded atop these central booms. These panels are then actively unfolded by a shape memory alloy that is embedded on the back of the panels. After completely unfolding, the panels lock themselves into place and maintain their shape and structure for the duration of the mission. The power generated by the fully deployed solar array will then be measured throughout several orbits each day, monitoring its performance over a multiple month period. Also embedded on the Lisa T payload is a novel lightweight antenna. Periodically, the antenna will be pointed to Earth and communications will be established and continually evaluated. Lisa T's power generation and communications performance will be monitored during the course of its multi-month mission.